Now, as we told you earlier, investigators have been on the scene where Tibbetts' body was found since early this morning. KCCI's Todd Magel has been at the intersection of Iowa Highway 21 and 460th Avenue in Powashik County pretty much all day watching investigators come and go from the scene. He joins us now live, and Todd, is this still an active scene or have the investigators left? Steve and Stacy, we have been here most of the day. 460th Highway 21, uh, Guernsey and uh, I-80, and um, uh, the, her hometown of Brooklyn is just about 10 miles to our north. Behind me is the road that's been closed all day, and just up this road uh, in a farm field is where they found Molly Tibbetts' body uh, early this morning. And again, as Laura Terrell mentioned, that the suspect in this case, uh, Mr. Christian uh, Rivera, actually led them to the body. We've shot some video throughout the day where this has been really the hot spot in Powashi County where law enforcement have been most of the day. We've seen FBI cars, DCI cars. Uh, the state medical examiner has been in and out of this presumably to investigate. We saw the crime scene uh, unit here as well most of the day today. What we are hearing is that uh, Mr. Rivera apparently told investigators that this is where he dropped the body off. He drove down this gravel road, found a turn, turned into what looked like an a, a abandoned area, uh, an area of not uh, good visibility, went into the cornfield, took her out of the trunk, uh, placed her into a very remote section of a cornfield, uh, covered her body with leaves from corn stalks, and then left. And of course, uh, that is the tragic news that nobody really wanted to hear uh, today. Uh, later on in the newscast, we'll show you some drone video. It's kind of hard to see the scene because we are quite a ways away uh, from where it is here uh, in uh, rural Powashi County. So the next step is to get to the scene at some point, see if we can see that and talk to some of the neighbors. They have some people have been going in and out, farmers who live in this area, and of course they've been aware of this going on all day here in Powashi County.